Hi, I'm Mike Slonowski. I'm the uh, Product uh, Marketing Manager for Single Board Computers uh, with Curtis Wright Controls Embedded Computing. What I'd like to do today is talk to you about uh, our, our VPX6 185 product. Uh, the VPX6 185 is uh, our first uh, 6U single board computer. Uh, it's available in both uh, conduction cooled and air cooled uh, variants. Uh, the 185 is uh, designed around the Freescale 8640 uh, PowerPC uh, processor. The uh, 185 comes with uh, two XMC PMC sites. Uh, both the XMC and the PMCs are pinned out into the VPX uh, backplane. Uh, one XMC site is a by 8 so that allows you to get uh, high-speed graphics and uh, high-speed data in, into the card. The other v uh, XMC site is a by 4 XMC site. Both PMC sites are uh, run at 100 uh, megahertz uh, PCI Express. And uh, now the 185, from a feature set perspective, also uses our IPM technology. And so with IPMs, you can get SCSI, SATA, 1553, extra serial ports. All those are interchangeable on the base card. So therefore, if you had a system with multiple 185s, you could have the same base card, different IPMs. The card from an I.O. perspective comes with uh, up to 4 gig uh, 3 to 4 can be pinned out on the backplane, depending on the variant. It also comes with 2 USBs. It comes with up to 8 serial ports. Those serial ports can be synchronous uh, 422 and 485, uh, as well as RS-232. Uh, the card also has, from a backlink perspective, high-speed uh, fabric ports that go between different cards. Now, the high-speed fabric ports uh, can be either PCI Express or Serial Rapid I.O. From a Serial Rapid I.O. perspective, we, we provide up to four by four Serial Rapid I.O. links, or you can mix and match them to the point of having two Serial Rapid I.O. and two PCI Express. We provide the card with single and dual core 8640s. They run either at 1 gig or 1.25 gig. Uh, the card also in it, uh, provides uh, a, ver a variety of memory options from a low end of 512 up to 2 gigabytes of DDR2. Also provides uh, between 256 meg and 512 uh, meg a soldered on NOR flash. And so depending on your application, right, you can select a card with the proper power and performance envelope in, in whatever uh, situation that you want. What I'd like to talk to you about now is uh, you know, a feature that uh, comes with the 185, and that's specifically the fact that we, we basically create what we call line replaceable modules. What that is is a Vita 48 uh, style card, which basically has front and rear um, covers. Now, now, the covers allow you to create a line replaceable module that allows you to uh, use and replace a card within the field. One thing that, that I'd like to point out on the 185 is a, our patented uh, heat pipe technology. Uh, the heat pipes allow us to take the, pro uh, the power out of the processor and distribute the power to either card edge, allowing the card to function in any orientation. So because of the uh, flexibility of the IPM and the processor, it allows you to create variants that fit your needs as well. Now, the card, because of the fact that it is VPX, VPX was designed to support both VME and uh, high-speed fabrics. Uh, the 185 also comes with a uh, VME interface. So that allows you to, in your systems, create a hybrid system which you're using some of your old VME cards into the newer VPX uh, format. So the card comes in variants that support VME and that do not support VME, allowing you to pick and choose the power envelope and the features that you want in your system. You know, as some of you may be aware, VPX is a new technology uh, specifically from the VME and the Vita side. What VPX is really is an extension of uh, VME, providing more high-speed I.O. on the backplane, and the ability to have high-speed fabrics that interconnect the cards. Uh, the 185 has been designed as a, a card that allows you to bridge between the old, meaning uh, the existing VME, VB, uh, VME64, as well as the new, meaning the high-speed fabrics interconnecting cards. And so the 185 is a perfect vehicle if you are looking to move forward in, in technology in order to mix the new high-speed fabrics and I.O., some of your older legacy cards, and it provides an excellent bridge between those two technologies. In the future, we will see a migration towards VPX, but existing today, we see a lot of opportunities in which customers still want to use VME in their systems. Now, the 185 has been a highly successful card. Uh, we've seen deployment in, in ground-based radars, uh, traditional avionics, uh, and Army and Naval type of programs. 
Uh, generally, the application sweet spot that we're seeing is customers who are wanting to uh, either future-proof themselves in creating a system that has the performance in the future that they, they want, uh, and or systems in which they are now looking for the next generation of performance, high-speed fabrics, high-speed I.O., uh, high-speed interconnect between cards. Uh, as well as uh, they are looking at the ability to do that line replaceable module, the ability to take that card out in the, in the field and not have to worry about uh, it being damaged as part of the uh, repair and replacement. To summarize, the 185 has seen you know, a lot of success. We, we've had a lot of design wins, specifically in customers and system integrators that want to take their, uh, their systems and their applications to the next level. Uh, we'll be following on the 185 with many other BPX products and, and, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you for your time.